of the coronavirus pandemic, not all Nigerians have come to terms with the nationwide curfew reimposed by the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19 to slow the spread of the virus. But this measures, uh, measure was adopted by the Steering Committee, who are clearly disturbed by the resurgence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our correspondent, Habida Lawal, reports on the impact of this new restriction on some aspects of the entertainment industry and the transport sector, especially night travels. World Health Organization has revealed that the coronavirus variant, first identified in India last year and classified as a variant of global concern, has been found in preliminary studies to spread more easily. This disclosure was made by the WHO technical lead on COVID-19, Maria Van, during a briefing on the 10th of May. In Nigeria, although the country is recording low numbers, the new threat has necessitated the Presidential Steering Committee to put in place measures for likely impact of the variant of concern in case it is imported into the country. The Presidential Steering Committee has therefore considered it imperative to reinstitute the various public health measures that were put in place under the health protection regulations. Now with the new restriction in place, many people are trying to adapt. Residents of Ilori, the Quara state capital, believe that the ban on night traveling is for the interest of the people, especially now that insecurity is on the rise. Nobody is telling you not to travel at 12, by 12 to 4. I don't think it's COVID for me. It's security. And I think your life is more important than any business. So if it gets to that time, find, find a place to rest. Second day continue. It's better to be alive than to go for business. If it has to be another reason like insecurity or the kidnaps or so, well, to me, it affects a lot, especially people that do business during the night. In Abuja, most people still go about their daily life without the use of nose mask and also without adhering to other non-pharmaceutical measures against contracting the virus. The entertainment business is arguably the worst hit again by these new restrictions. Most of the major activities in this sector deals with a large gathering of people. I met Success Ogunkolade, a seasoned entertainment promoter in Abuja. It tells me how the industry is yet to recover from the last year's lockdown and they are still counting the losses incurred during the lockdown to slow down the spread of the virus. It was a terrible thing. Everywhere was hot, no job, nothing. People were really suffering. You know, some of us even had to like sit back and start thinking about other businesses. One way or the other, I don't know how they want to do it. Either they monetize it or entertainment industry are people that get their money from the street. So if you're asking them to get off the street, they give them the food to eat while they're in there. Government statistics show that 84% of the targeted persons for the first phase of the vaccination has been vaccinated. Covering the risk of a surge in cases, the PSC is maintaining the enforcement of the COVID-19 health protection regulations to mitigate the risk of a spike in new cases. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.